Okay, three squares lie in a right angle triangle as shown. The sides of the squares are 28, like the, the 63, like the and X. Okay. So actually notice that they're both multiples of 7. Okay. So, since the largest is 60, Okay, so... Yeah, so the answer is very likely to be a multiple of 7, okay? Um, Why is it very likely to be a multiple of 7? Because uh, I guess if it's a whole number answer, like, you, I think you should be able to scale the whole problem by 7. But, yeah, I don't have a good answer for you right now, but... My my gut tells me it's very likely to be a multiple of seven. Okay, all right. So let me tell you a way to do this. So, have you guys heard of similar triangles? Yeah. Yeah. No. So similar triangles is like a triangle, yep. and the triangle is basically the same as the other triangle. Okay, but one of them is like scaled down. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait, is that is that what it's like? Like at the top part of the squares, are those the yeah. similar triangles? Yeah. Yeah. So, so this this triangle here, yeah, yeah, is similar to this triangle here, and it's also similar to this triangle here. And th these triangles are all similar. Okay. Yeah, but they're smaller and different sizes. Yeah. Exactly. So the the easiest way to check the triangles are similar, and this might as well be the definition for you at this point. Okay. Yeah. Is that all the angles are the same? Okay. Yes. Can angles. You, yeah. Can you see why all the angles are the same? Yeah, they're all right angles. Okay, so they all have. Kind of cute angles, though. So that's all. One of the angles is the same. You need another angle, okay? Cute angles. Wait, no. Like um, the angle that like the angles of angles here are the same. The Acute, they're all acute angles. Acute doesn't mean they're the same, okay? It could be lots of different acute angles. Acute oh. just means they're less than 90. Oh. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You're and speaking some nonsense right there. A, like, a revolution angle? Yeah, they, you're speaking some nonsense right there, too. So, so the question is, I want to show you, like, why, why is this angle here the same as this angle here? It's the same as this angle here, you know? Yeah, um... And if they are the same, then this is also the same, okay? Just, you know, triangles add up to 180, okay? Yeah. So if two of the angles are the same, the third one's also the same. So can you explain to me, so this is your exercise. Can you explain to me why the pointy angles are all the same? I colored in red circles and why the open white circle angles are all the same, okay? Yeah. Explain that to me. So once you explain that to me, we can move on, okay? Because they are similar triangles, so then, um, they're the same, but, like, different sizes. Does your answer even make sense to you? If, if you said that to yourself, would you be like, oh, okay, they're the same? Or would you still be unsure and have to ask someone to check it for you, right? That's the difference between a real answer and some bullcrap answer, okay? Yeah. I'll give you two minutes, okay, and then I'll explain why they're the same.
All right, okay, so so if you look at this, okay, yeah, you know, so if you look at this, why was this ninety degrees, you know it's, what's a right angle? So you don't even know the reason. I know what a right angle is. That's not the point. So like this is a right angle, right? Because that's a square, yes? Yeah, yeah. And this is a right angle because 180 degrees is a straight line, yes? Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So let's just call this angle circle and this angle bullet. Okay? Yeah? Notice that bullet plus the circle equals what? Yeah, because the triangle adds up to 180, right? Okay. And what's this angle is 90 degrees, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see what this angle has to be here? So the whole thing is 180 degrees, oh, right? Since it adds up to 180 degrees and it has a right angle, which is 90, yeah. those two will keep adding up to 90 degrees. Yeah, okay. And so if this adds up to 90 degrees with bullet, then what angle is here? There's only one angle that adds up with bullet to 190 degrees, you know that? Like if you have the number 40, only the number 50 adds up with 40 to 90, right? Yeah. So that means this angle here has to be the open circle. Yeah. There's only one number that adds up to bullet to 90 degrees. You understand? Yeah. yeah? Okay, and then again, this is 90 degrees. You see, this is nine degrees. Yeah. So what's the last? What's the angle down there? The bullet one. Yeah, it's the bullet one, right? Because it has to add up to nine degrees. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So can you see how it's the same all the way down? Yeah. So these are all similar triangles. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I know what it's similar to, but now I know even more. Yeah. Okay, and we know that this is 63, this is x, and this is 28, okay? Wait, I just realized. Hmm. So similar triangles means the, the, the sides are in the, the same ratio, does that mean? So like the triangle is like double the other triangle, or it's like three times the other triangle. So whatever, like if this side is two times the other side, then all the sides are two times the other sides, you understand? Okay. So... Like, how do you use the similar triangles to also um, solve the um, question? Yeah, that's what I tried to tell you, but you didn't listen, okay? Is there such thing as a similar square? Yeah, all squares are similar. So it's not interesting. There's such a thing, but it's not interesting, yeah? Okay, so... I just realized something. What? All these similar triangles are inside a similar triangle. That's similar to all of them. <laughs> 
yeah. Okay, so if we have like these two triangles, okay, so we don't actually know what that length is, right? If we don't know that length, we're probably not going to use it. Yeah? Yeah. Um, that whole big triangle is like a similar triangle to the other. Yeah. yeah, we could probably like use this has, one. It has like. And this like, one. So we know the length like, of these two triangles. We this can... is the big, like the biggest triangle, which is triangle that has all the squares in it. Yeah, which, it's like, also similar, yes. So, which means there's ni it's 90 degrees, has the, um, it has yeah, the um, circle, that's true. and then it has the bullet. Okay, so now we need we need two triangles for which we actually know the sides of, okay? We can't just pick, we can't pick the blue one because we don't actually know this side, okay? Yeah. But we can pick the green ones, okay? So we look at the green ones, what's, what's the side length of the green ones, you know? The side length? Let's focus on the green triangles, okay? Well, the bottom one, I think it's like 20, like for the small one, the small one, Yeah. the, the bottom one is 28. 28, yeah. Because the um, smallest square is 28. Yeah. And it's 28. And then for the middle triangle. This is X, yeah? Yeah, that's X. So like. So what, what about the other lengths? Yeah, <laughs> So like what what's what's this length here? Yeah. yeah? So what's what's this length? Shell focus. What's the purple length? Purple length is a line. Be quiet. Don't say it unless you think about it, okay? Try not to talk. We don't want to hear you talk randomly. So this is 63, right? Yeah. And this is X. Yeah. So this length here is 63, yeah? Yeah. This length here is X. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. So what's that length of the top then? X 
63 minus x. 63 is bigger, right? Yeah. You minus 63. You minus from 63, okay? Yeah. All right, what's this length here then? I already corrected you. Yeah. So why would you make the same mistake twice? Well, that's 28, yeah? Yeah. Wait, isn't the top line just the length of like, like, what, like, the square, like, like, this triangle up above the, the small squares, um, the top angle is just 20 as well. Top angle? The, the, this one? No, it's it's obviously longer than twenty eight, right? It's going diagonally. That's longer. Cause it it got all the way up there. If it was the same length it wouldn't it would get into a circle, right? Oh. Okay, so the point is this triangle is similar to that triangle, yeah? Yeah. So that means however much X is bigger than twenty eight, then that same amount is 63 minus x is bigger than x minus 28. You understand? So another way of saying that is um, x over 28, yeah, is equal to 63 minus x over x minus 28. Is this what you did, Aiden? Uh, yeah, that's what I did. Uh, not, wait. I did 63 over x equals x over 28. 63 over x equals x over 28. Hmm. That's not that obvious. It's not obvious that's true, but it does end up probably being true in, in our situation, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah, because it, it's not completely obvious, although it might be, I don't know, like... Yeah, it's not completely obvious that the triangles should be in the same ratio as the other ones. Yeah. Okay, anyway, but how would you solve for this? Okay. So. so yeah, so this is a little bit difficult if you don't know much algebra, but essentially, if wait, you have any equals. Wait a minute, is if, if um, x over 28 then yeah I mean mm. X is between so like one thing you can do at this point if you're really Wait, young you can only cancel if it's times in, okay? Oh. So minusing is not, okay? Oh. And that's a mistake, like, people who are bad at maths make all the way to university, okay? They cancel out things randomly because they don't understand why cancelling works, okay? Oh. Alright, so you actually, so in this test, you know x is an int whole number, okay? Yeah. And you know it's between 28 and 63, yeah? Yeah? So actually, you can just try all the numbers between 28 and 63 into this equation. Yeah? Because this equation actually gives you a way to check if your answer is right or wrong, right? Does that make sense? And if you drew, if you drew the diagram to scale, okay, then um, your, your diagram would actually tell you very closely what the number should be anyway, right? So I think a clever way to do this question is if you divide everything by seven, right? Yeah. So you have four, some four y and nine, yeah. Yeah. 
And then you use your ruler to draw a triangle. Wait, okay. Wait a Listen to what I'm saying. I'm talking. Okay. You draw a triangle. Okay. Then you can measure how long x is, right? Yeah. And then you can try it. And if that you can that you could just put that as your answer, or you could try it into this equation. Okay. All right. What are you saying? So like if x if, if x over twenty eight. Yeah, let me see if I can bring up a grid. Maybe I can bring up a grid. Oh, just give me one sec. Just give me a sec, I'll just... Yeah, okay, let's see if this, res this, this method works. So we don't have a ruler, but we have grid, okay? And we sort of have a ruler device here. So what we can do is we can draw... Um, we don't need a ruler. So we divide, so we get nine, okay? Nine is like this long, yeah? Right? Oh, so the problem is you don't have quite have x. Yeah. You don't quite have x. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so... I mean, you can try some values of x to make this simpler. So, if we divide everything by 7, then the equation becomes... The equation becomes x on 4 equals 9 minus x on x minus 4. So then, so then you actually only have f 5 values. You only have 5 values to try, yeah? x would be 5, 6, 5... If it's a whole number after you divide by seven, so it's five, six, seven, or eight, yeah. So if you if you do eight, then two has to equal one over two, which is not true, right? Um, yeah, divided by seven. You, you didn't listen to me, did you? Okay, that's why I'm talking so people listen to me, yeah, not to be ignored, and then ask the same question. So x over 4, so if x was like, for example, 6, okay, 6 over 4 is 3 and 1 and a half, yeah, okay, and then 9 minus 6 is 3, 3 on 2, it's also 1 and a half, so actually 6 actually satisfies that equation, okay, so you could check that by doing this. So that's six, okay, and then we have four. We have four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, if you had a ruler, you could actually just do this um, with a ruler, yeah. Isn't there a ruler in whiteboard? Yeah, but. It's it's just a straight edge. It doesn't actually measure things. But I got a grid, so the grid is pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that means if we do this, so all we need to do is join this line. Oh, what? That's not right. The square. Oh, something's wrong. Four. Nine six. Wait, what happened? I have no idea. Four nine six. Four nine six. What? Why didn't that work? Four. Four six. Mm. Oh, okay. So the the nine is actually not nine. Yeah, that's why that didn't work. See, the nine should actually be. Right, one, two, three. 
One, two, seven, nine. Yeah. Nine should actually be. So what's nine? It's it's six. That's not even. That's six. Plus three, right? Yeah. And here it's five plus four. That's nine, yeah. And hopefully that works. You have this line going straight through, yeah. Does that make sense? So you can actually literally solve this problem by drawing it. Um yeah. And you by you can guess the answer too. So if you if you know it's a multiple of seven, you just have to guess five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and now and then Okay, but I should show you how to solve the equation as well because that's something that you get to keep beyond this problem much more. Um, so if you want to solve the equation, okay, so x over 28. So with an equation, you'll have to times, you'll have to do the same thing to both sides as long as it's re reversible, okay? So that you're dividing by 28 on the left hand side, okay? You can get rid of that by timesing both sides by 28, okay? So if you times both sides by 28, then that cancels out the dividing by 28, okay? And then you get 63 minus x times 28 over x minus 28, yeah? Okay. So we're dividing by x minus 28, yeah? Yes. Okay. So we can get rid of that by timesing by x minus 28 on both sides, okay? Yes. And the reason we do that is because dividing is not as nice as timesing, okay? So we want to get rid of it, okay? Yeah. But we do lose a little bit of information because we now forget that x can't be 28 because you can't divide by 0, okay? Yeah. So now you do times by 28, x minus 28 on both sides. You get 63 minus x times 28, okay? Yeah. And now it's an equation that doesn't have any division. Okay, it's just timesing. Okay, so let me just write that on the whiteboard and we can delete this. So let me write this on the whiteboard. So it's x minus 28 times x equals 63 minus x times 28. Okay, and then now I can erase. Okay, and we want to find what x is. Okay. Okay, so when you times this bracket, okay, let me, yeah, so when you're timesing by this bracket, okay, okay, so remember, it's the same as what you're doing before, you have this like, like, you have this big box, this is x, right? And this whole thing is, this thing is x as well, yeah? But up to here is 28, right? And, sorry, uh, and so this, this here is x minus 28, right? Yeah? And so you want to do x minus 28 times x, yeah? Yes. So that's the same as x times x, which is x squared minus x times 28, right? Good. Yes? It's the same as the big rectangle minus the white stuff, yeah? Yeah. English. You're too distracting. Okay. And it's the same thing on the other side. It's 63 times 28 minus 28x. Yeah? Okay, can you see what to do now? Yeah, so there's a difference in blindly watching and actually thinking about stuff, okay? you got to focus. Alright? I expect people to, like, focus hard. You can, you can go to sleep after this. You see what to do next? Maybe Aiden or Min can help. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I never teach you to multiply numbers out, so I don't know why that's always your first instinct. I actually specifically tell you not to multiply numbers out, yes? So Aiden, what's the first, what's an obvious thing to do here? Min, what's an obvious thing to do here? So we got this. Yeah, cancel out the 28x, yeah? So you're minusing 28x from both sides, right? So you can get rid of that by plusing 28x from both sides. You understand? You understand? Because minus 28 plus 28 is zero, yeah? So you can get rid of this and this, and you get x squared equals 63 times 28. Oh yeah, Focus. because oh yeah, we're almost finished. Okay, don't ask what before it's finished. You understand? Oh yeah, because um, twenty eight x is the same as that one, so it's like um um it equals. So we're gonna solve it. I uh, so then twenty eight eight x is just twenty eight x and sixty three point I should sixty three times twenty is just x squared. Yeah, so you basically know what x is, right? Yeah. Okay, so again, okay, you don't, you don't multiply 63 times 28, okay? You factorize. You understand? Can you factorize this? This is something you can do as well. Can you factorize? Wait, can we factorize both 63 and 28? Yeah. Okay. Um, 2 does not have grace for 28. 7. Wait, three um, is divisible by wait, wait, yeah, six. Wait, wait, seven three, times what? Sixty three works for seven three. times three. No. Wait, six three works for sixty three. Okay, and so is, So what sixty three is three times something, yeah? yeah? Three times what? Three times um twenty one. Okay. Alright. What about twenty eight? Seven times four. Twenty Okay, seven times four. Okay, good. Wait, but you could also um do just two. Two times yeah, but it's already been done, so just keep going from there, okay? Yeah. So three, you can three is safe, yeah. You can keep three. Yeah, and then twenty-one to factorize twenty-one. Um, you can factorize twenty-one into three as well. Yeah, three times what? It's three times seven. Okay, and then seven's prime, right? So then what about 4? 4 you can change into 2. 2 times 2, right? So, can you see that this is, can you can you see how to write this another way? Yeah, it's funny because in school you just use your calculator or something, but I think you, it misses lots of the, um, it misses a lot of the lessons. Yeah. So can you see 3 times 3 is actually 3 squared? Oh yeah, so then 3 squared plus 7 squared plus... Times, it's times. Oh, times, 7 squared times 2 squared. 2 squared, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and can you see that this is actually the same as 3 times 7 times 2 all squared? Yeah. Yeah? That's much. So that means x squared equals this number all squared, right? Yeah, so then... So can you, that, can you see that immediately tells you what x is? Yeah. What's x? x is just... x is 3 times 7 times 2 because x squared yeah. equals to this squared. Yeah, so you've got to be careful, okay? So x, it could be 3 times 7 times 2, okay? Or it could be minus, okay? Because a minus times a minus is a plus, okay? Yes. So it's actually plus or minus 3 times 7 times 2, okay? But in this case, can you see why it's plus and not minus? Because... Is 
Is see why it's plus, not minus? Because x is the length of a square, right? The length can only be plus. Yeah. Okay. So then x equals 3 times 2 times 7, right? Or 3 times 7 times 2, or 2 times 3 times 7, yeah? So it's all the same number. It doesn't matter what order you write it. Yeah. And what number is this? Now you can times it. Okay, so 3 times 2 is 6. And six times seven equals um forty two. Yeah. So X equals forty two. Yeah. So some questions. Forty two, okay. Alright, any questions about that? So it was a multiple of seven, right? And it was six times seven, remember? Yeah. So there's actually lots of ways to solve the problem, even if you can't do some of the steps, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's about being resourceful. It's not just about being brain dead and like being taught how to do everything exactly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, that's that's a habit you got to get out of because schools kind of make you like that, okay? Yeah.